Hey everybody, it's your Lord and Savior, David Vonderhaar here to tell you about our latest update to Black Ops 3. In order to make it look like we fixed more things, we just rolled bullet points in from the past five hotfixes into the patch notes and hoped you didn't notice. First off are some weapon tweaks, which again, were done in a hotfix, but since I'm not savage, the actual specifics weren't released until now. Those weapons affected by the hotfix were a VMP nerf, which apparently puts it in line with other SMGs according to hip fire and ADS time, so it was literally overpowered before this patch. Wonder how that slipped through the cracks. The other giant nerf was to the Virgin Cannon known as the Gorgon, which had a hip fire and recoil in Increase a slowdown in the ADS time, even though most users are sat behind a head glitch and don't move anyways, and a clip reduction from 50 down to 40, because that's still 20 kills with its two-shot kill damage model if you actually know how to aim. The other nerfs include a close-range damage reduction for the Pharaoh Haymaker 12 and the Elkar Melt, I mean Machine Pistol, and a hip fire spread increase to the XR2. Buffs include a a range increase for the Razorback, KRM-262, and Argus shotguns, which, combined with the fix for the long barrel attachment bug, should actually make them more potent than the hair dryers that they were before. ADS speeds were increased on the other LMGs, and the HVK-30 got a recoil reduction. And, for some reason, since it wasn't already the passive player's weapon of choice, the M8A7 got a fire rate increase, such that if you somehow didn't one burst your enemy, you won't be penalized as greatly waiting for the next burst. If your trigger finger makes porn stars jealous, you should be able to use it. So that's the first round of weapon tweaks after overreacting from two weeks of playing. Isn't it funny that the guns that people bitched about in the beta, which were subsequently nerfed, are now all of a sudden getting buffed again? <coughs> Razorback, <coughs> KRM, <coughs> We also made some specialist tweaks including having all abilities recharge at a reduced rate in objective game modes since you earn score easier than TDM or FFA. Yes, we just want to suck the fun out of everything with this game. Oh, since we found that nobody is using Rejack since the beta nerf made it completely useless, we're increasing the recharge speed. We also took back Reaper Scythe ability to have 160 bullets instead of 200, even though most people won't make it through that many bullets anyways. Next are some general fixes, including making spawn updates to free-for-all and gun game, such that people won't spawn in the exact same spot. This way we won't see world's fastest first blood videos pop up in our sub boxes anymore. The other huge bug that somehow made it past a two week beta and three years of development was the matchmaking that put together games that were more lopsided than the National League MVP award voting and in some cases had more players than the max lobby count. We also added lobby leaderboards for you lazy fucks that couldn't be asked to hit start, then scroll over to the barracks, then filter by lobby instead of friends. S&D will now award 500 XP instead of 250 XP like it has been in the past 8 Call of Duty games prior to this one. And we also made a score streak update, but not the one that anybody actually wants. The Cerebus score streak can no longer be destroyed by a friendly teammate's power core. Not that the Cerebus does anything anyways other than spin around in circles like a merry-go-round with an extra 23rd chromosome. Lastly, we fixed some map exploits, but nowhere near as bad as the previous Call of Duty game because we actually know how to code out-of-bounds areas and dead zones. Oh, and we fixed the challenges and medals that weren't working correctly. Apparently, counters and math aren't our strong suit. Wait, what? After the patch, the game is crashing harder than Sonny Bono? Well, fuck. I guess it's the whack-a-mole effect. Push a few things down, some other shit will pop up.